What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of What's at Mile High. Today we have a whole bunch of cool cars in the shop. Let's go ahead and get started. This first vehicle that we have is this Ram 3500. This vehicle is in for a full vinyl wrap. This is actually Ariana's project. So let's go talk to her, see what she has to say. Yo, what's good guys? As you can see, I'm wrapping my uncle's truck. It's got the American Force wheels, 24 inches. It's tuned, it's lifted. This truck is gonna be crazy after it's done. It's going a matte metallic brown. Um, as you can see, I have everything taken apart already, so it's ready to wrap. Uh, I am doing it after hours. It's just going to take a little bit longer, um, but stay tuned to see the final results. So like Ariana said, uh, this is her uncle's truck. She's going to be working on it after hours. We'll try and help her here and there, but she pretty much just assembled the full truck by itself. Uh, this car does have some fender flares um, across the bed and the fenders. Those were just held on by adhesive. So she got those removed, door handles, mirrors. She already started on the hood. So far it's looking really good. Some people might not like matte brown metallic. I think it looks pretty clean. You don't see too many brown cars on there, but this is definitely a clean, classy color. Nothing too crazy, but this is gonna look really good when it's all complete. Moving on to the next vehicle is the Mercedes GLE 53 AMG. This one is pretty much all complete. It's wrapped up in the 3M brush black metallic. It's looking really good. Like I said, we did smoke out the headlights, the taillights and the reflectors, as well as tint all the windows. We got some new black badges over here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to say Formatic or Bi-Turbo. This is a 53, so it is a little bit different. We have a little bit of red in that emblem. We did leave a little bit of gloss black accents. The mirrors are still gloss black. The door handles are a little bit of a two-tone. The top half on these door handles originally were chrome and the bottom half was gloss black. However, we got the chrome wrapped up in the brush black to give it that nice clean look. Overall, this vehicle is looking super clean. We actually had a client come in yesterday with a Tesla Model X and they were kind of on the edge of a few different colors. But as soon as they saw this vehicle, they're like, you know what, I want the same exact color. So this is a really clean, really classy color. You don't see too many vehicles wrapped up in the brushed, but this is a nice little change from satin black or matte black. It looks a little gray in the lighting, but it is black. It's looking really good. I believe we're just gonna ceramic coat this vehicle, do a couple final touches, and then this one will be all complete. This wouldn't be Mile High Customs, of course, without a Tesla. This Tesla, we finished it about two weeks ago. It's just back in for its two week checkup. Also, we did install some new emblems on the front and the rear. As you can see, we got these painted in a red, as well as the rear Tesla emblem. And then we also got a blacked out dual motor badge. We're also gonna be ceramic coating the topper. I believe Mohammed already finished that. If not, he's currently working on it. But this vehicle, we did pretty much full front end paint protection film. We smoked out the headlights, the taillights. We did do the gloss black pillars along with this little piece right here just to match up with the trim. Uh, this goes all the way back to the trunk. We like to match it up with this trim right here just so that way it doesn't look funky. If you stop it right here, you have all this black. So it just blends in a little bit better. I personally think it looks a lot better like that and a lot of shops do it the same way just so that way it ties in with that trim piece. We also have another Tesla Model X right behind me. This one is getting full front end paint protection film. It's also getting full ceramic plus tint on all the side windows, the back window, including the giant windshield. We do do this windshield in one piece. It requires a special piece of film, about 60 inches, but this is gonna be a project. I believe we're gonna have this vehicle for two days, one day for the paint protection film and another day for the window tint just because this front windshield does take a lot of time, especially if you do it right, it does take about two to three hours by itself. We also have this Porsche Cayenne that just dropped off. This is in for ceramic window tint on the two front windows. It's also gonna be getting ceramic Air 80 on the front windshield. The Air 80 is an 80% film. It has a little bit of a blue hue to it and it is pretty much clear so that way you can see perfectly out of it. It's not gonna hinder your vision or anything like that. No one's ever gonna know it's really tinted. So police aren't gonna stop you or give you a hassle or anything like that, but it's gonna give you all the benefits of the heat rejection and the UV protection. 
So we got Rudy over here working on this RS5. He is doing the front end paint protection film. He's got some cool socks going on. I believe these ones have a spider on it. What is that, Rudy? Is that a black widow? It's a tarantula. I got a tarantula socks on. They're actually a car performance brand. What is it? What is it called? Tarantula? Uh, no, it's Edelbrox. Edelbrox tarantula. I think it's uh, one of their. I don't even know their tuning companies or something like that. What do they work on? They just work on performance parts. Any specific vehicle? No, no specific muscle cars. Uh, that's all I really know them for. But um, I'm finished up with this front end here. It's just the fenders and the hood. I just finished up. I got to touch up things and cut things out. And it's pretty much done after that. You enjoy clear bra? Yeah, I do enjoy clear bra. Nice and easy? Nice and easy. It's easy to work with. It's clean, you know, nothing, you just need it clean and nothing's dirty. It's nice. I like it, Picasso. All right, so we got my man Robert right here. He's working on this Lexus. He's got the back window all shrunk up and he's about to install. What's going on, Robert? Just getting the window ready so I can install it. It's getting ATC 30%. Uh, about to just hop in the car, clean the back window, and start working on that. I like it. Let's see if Jaden has anything to say. Jaden is Ariana's younger brother. Um, he's a little young, but we that's how we like him. We teach him young from the beginning. In a couple years, if he's still here, he's going to be a master tinter. What's going on, Jaden? What's up, Walid? What you got to say to the camera? What's up, camera? <laughs> I'm saying I'm about to, just about to tint this back window. I already got it shrinked, as you can see. I uh, just got to clean it up, and I could put it on there. How long have you been here? Uh, like for three weeks. Three weeks. How do you like it so far? It's pretty good. It's a good job. What's your favorite thing to do? Uh, favorite thing probably tint windows. You know, just get better. So Jaden's learning how to tint. He also helps Ariana with detailing, so he's really good at washing cars. They also do a whole bunch of interior details, so he's really clean, really thorough, and you know that's perfect match for tint. With window tint, you gotta make sure your windows are clean, there's no dust or anything like that in between the window and the film. So that definitely helps to be really clean, really detail oriented. Are you camera shy? Uh, a little bit. A little yeah, bit? First time. We'll work on it. Sorry, <laughs> okay. you did good, you did good. The last two vehicles that we have in the shop currently, this first one is this Lamborghini Urus. This is in for full body paint protection film. So this client actually has a matching Aventador in the same exact color. If I'm not mistaken, he told us that this is the only one in the world with this exact color. And they actually got special approval from Lamborghini to get it in this color. We are currently doing a quick polish on the full vehicle. The paint is in immaculate condition really doesn't have any swirls or scratches or anything like that in it however we just like to go over the full vehicle make sure there's no waxes or any oils or anything like that that can hinder the adhesion to the paint so we're going to do a quick polish get it all cleaned up and then get started on the installation and then last but not least we have one more tesla in the shop this is a tesla model y this vehicle did get full body paint protection film. It is pretty much all complete. We just have to detail the car, clean up the inside, shine up the tires, go over everything one more time, uh, just so that way we know everything's all good to go. And then this vehicle will be picking up tomorrow. So one panel we actually didn't do on this car was the hood. There is actually a hair right here. This is underneath the clear coat. So we saw that whenever we were polishing the car, we did call the customer to let him know, see if he wants us just to clear bra right over it, or if he wants to go back to Tesla and see what they will do for him. He did contact Tesla and I believe they're gonna get that taken care of for him. So as soon as that's all fixed and all complete, he'll bring the vehicle back to us. We'll get the hood all taken care of. The hood, as you guys can see, it's really flat. It doesn't take too much time. One person can probably knock that out in about 30 minutes or so with tucking all the edges and everything like that. So this will be a quick fix as soon as he brings it back to us from Tesla. But that'll do it for this episode of What's At Mile High. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.